everybody. Yeah. I'm here this morning gonna start milking the cows there is uh gonna go gonna go get the cows in this morning. It's cool. We'll be away in uh, no time. Emptied another seven mils out of the rain gauge this morning. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, watch out error. Come on error. Alright. Alright, let's get to Bulkin. Morning there. Morning. How are we doing? Yeah, okay. Very bright this morning. I know. Won't lose you in a panic. No, no, they still need something. <laughs> Alright, so on. Well, going well. We got the first row on. How are we doing? How are we doing? He finally arrived, Ace here. He took his time, he took his time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he went and got some milk for the uh, little carvies. So the carvies will be happy today. Yeah, good girl. There you good go. Girl. Last row. All of them are heifers. Even this last one here, she's a heifer, and she's just standing there. A gently girl. You like your meal? There she is eating your meal. Happy as. Doesn't even know she can back out and run away. You've got the guard dog watching, eh? Yeah, Eris watching. Eris. Your puppy? No, poor puppy. No good? Yep. That's all right. The show's leaving, but majority heifers as well, staying behind and eating more meal. Can't leave it for the birds. No carvies in there at the moment. Tess has just finished feeding the two mobs. Awesome. All right. Then Dad will go down. We've got to go shift our... Uh, Carving cows. And, uh, yeah, it won't be much done today. It is a Saturday, a nice weekend. Relax back. Yes. Grass in there. Not for long. No. The grazing these off the next couple of days. That one is coming back well. Look at the growth in it. That ammo 31 is working well. I thought we'd better grab me out of this paddock because the fence could go under the next couple of days. Mm. Hopefully not, but mm. never know. Come on, mm. Come on, Bull. Dad's gonna go get the bulls. Okay. Cows are walking through the water and they're in their panic. Knows where the, the shallowest part is. Yeah, we put in three new posts, two there, one there. That strainer over there is renewed, brand new strainer. And we fixed up the tapes, we put a tape around the bottom below these fences because the calves didn't see it, so they don't try and go underneath it. Mainly when it's dark, they're running around, they'll be able to see it. Same with that side. So it's set up for calves now. They don't generally go under the fences any further down, just around the gateways, or when they're trying to run away from something, they might have spooked them at the back of the paddock. Cool. All right, we'll uh, head up now. There's mum. A little cheap cheap bird there, a little baby one. A clover. Put a reel across the middle of the paddock. Across about a third of it. Great beating off this side now. Tree's blowing his butt. Oh. Old oak tree. Yeah. It's just That's coming cool. out in leaf. Very soon. Hey, 
Ja, wat zeg je? Ik ben niet in de kabels. Ik ga 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 in de kabels. I quickly ran out there and flicked it. Tessa was coming through the walkway. Shoulder charged her. She got knocked into the drum. <laughs> hey, yep. Well, it's not much dropped, only about 20, 30 litres. Yeah, hard to get good stuff. Pretty bad when we're only sending 4,830 litres. So that's 4,800 for one. <laughs> Maximum. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll, uh, Keep moving some cows. The first rose cup. Almost. And Uncle Chris and Dad in the cow shed now. We're easy milking today. Um, so the problem is what happens when we don't have a double up. The cups get pushed right far forward. We weren't ready for it and but they went forward. There's still a double up there, but jeepers. Alright, well, we'll keep coming. Keep going. We've got um, two cows coming off the bucket today. Three cows, including one of the high somatics. Awesome, well we're ready. One cow going on the bucket. Cow out of the car. What I mean by I put a dot on her, I put a dot on her because I think there's a possibility she could be getting mastitis. She might not, but we'll check her in the morning. I her front left there was, um, when I was putting the cups on, just seemed a bit bigger than normal and a bit hot. So uh, this could be a starting, a starting sign of symptoms of uh, mastitis. So we'll just keep an eye on her. We'll check her in the morning, see how milk works. How much more we got to go out there? Uh, back against just there, so another four or five rows. On to the last row, going good. Right up there, Dad, freshman cows. Oh, that's another successful milking. Let's go grab the track and we'll go feed out. Uh, the calves are happy in there. Another mob goes out tomorrow. There's a bit of a shift happening tomorrow. All these little calves are gonna go outside. The calves that are around my house, they get to go down to the swamp. And the ones behind the shed go around my house. So we've got 35 in this pen here, in these two pens, ready to go outside. Like this we'll see you in the morning. Good girl. Thank you, McKenzie. Bye. Load it up. Let's go and feed out. Find some cows down there. Well. Milking's gone well, it's good for Uncle Chris to come and help us. He's our relief milker. We got a uh, little a bit down today. We did send 4,800 litres, so yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We have still got just under 20 cows to calve, about 17, I think now, 17, 16. So we'll get there, we'll get there. Awesome. Let's go feed some hay. That's what Dad likes to feed this time of year. Quite nice weather here, we've got good sunshine. That sun will pull, activate that grass and we'll get some real nice growth. Look at that though. Really dark over that way. Right, let's try this again. Awesome. That's us for today.